every adventure in time and space <laughs> has to start somewhere. And mine started in a little room under the stairs. Much like Harry Potter did, only instead of riding broomsticks, we decided to take canoes. Can you hear me? For the folks who follow my channel, you will have hopefully already watched the Great Glen Canoe Trail videos. But what I wanted to do here is bring you the full trip in a condensed format and narrate over the top, hopefully giving you more of an insight into this amazing trip with equally amazing people. Come on, Dean, we need to see you. <laughs> that comes very close to the pub or you lot. You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice one. Well, at least I can hear what you're saying anyway. So. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. We were just saying... And I hope you're, uh, you all realise I f***ing missed East Enders as well. <laughs> at this point, I was actually quite starstruck to you because uh, we had Simon of Luck in the woods and we also had Mike, um, Mike Pullen. And, yeah, it was just like... You know, I've watched these guys uh, since starting my bushcrafting and and wild camping adventures and things like that and they're literally in front of me and we're organizing a trip it was just yeah i'm a, I'm a little bit like that starstruck <laughs> and they cancelled all holidays so um it's just going to be me so i'll phone glenn nevis tomorrow i'm airing slightly towards the the put in the route out there because there'll be loads of places we can that haven't got access from the road so we're not going to get hassle so guys, um, so. but there will be the odd sort of portage bit where we could maybe raise a few quid as people sort of cheered us on and I, I think it might be a nice thing to do i don't know definitely and nice and nice for people who you know follow follow like you mike and you know people you've got a lot of you know people might just like to come along and just say yeah. hello and wish you luck and i think it'd be a, a it? morale booster for us as well you know just yeah. a bit of support along yeah, the way I think, that's, I think that's a good shout i think it's good to to get people involved, a bit more interactive with them as well. So yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a good idea. All right. Well, I'll, I think I'll... what we need to do is uh, maybe a, 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 if you could get a couple of bandanas and and I could put one round each of the dogs. You know, a couple of um, Alzheimer's bandanas. They'll draw more money than us ugly lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good, good, yeah. Something like that. I think, well, I think I, I might have missed that, Ginge. Uh -huh. Oh, we're saying something about bananas. Bananas. <laughs> <That one. laughs> yeah, a couple of bandanas for the dogs. My dog doesn't eat bananas. Yeah, yeah, a couple of bananas <laughs> for the dogs. They love. Uh, another I, I suggestion. Yeah. Um, just, just a thought. If you guys, are, if we get signal, um, we could do uh, one evening, maybe towards the end or something, a little live stream. Yeah. And any donations via the super chat sort of thing awesome. that we get, um, we can just donate straight to Alzheimer's. That that could go really well, especially if we say building up to the trip on this day, we're going to live stream that evening. So people know they a, a rough time and day that the live stream will kick off. I'm happy to do that on my channel. Do you, awesome. do you know who's bringing the whiskey? You mean you haven't got branded it's whiskey? It's Scotland. Play outdoors whiskey. <laughs> to be honest with you, there's, um, there's a distillery, isn't there, down, um, down near In Fort Wilmington. William. Yeah. Fort there William, is. yeah. Yeah. I'd there like is. to go and have a look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Ben Nevis distillery. Is there. <laughs> yeah. You can see the pipes come down the hill, can't you? Seriously? Tap into That's not you. whiskey, that's water. That's before... <laughs> Damn! Tap into <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, they got these... Five, five foot diameter of pipes full of whiskey dropping oh. down from the top of the bed. Imagine. <laughs> we, could get, we could get Mike's auger just on that video. Get that. Yeah. Tap into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I have got I'll bring along. I've got a bottle of Pochin. Oh, you've got What's blind that? drinking that. What is it? <laughs> Simon, you could well, whip a still out of oak or something, couldn't you? Yeah. Well. well, I could run the alcohol <laughs> stove on it as well. So it's got multi <laughs> Great stuff. Right. Thanks again, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep on chatting on WhatsApp. Anything comes up. Brilliant. All right. <laughs> thanks a lot. Cool. Cheers, then. Take uh, it easy, guys. Cheers, See you later. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 And there we have it. The trip all ready to go. Nothing could fault us now. Or could it? No, actually, it went all right. <laughs>
We start our adventure at Benavi Lots car park just below Neptune's staircase. There's no real point starting at the bottom because you've got to navigate through seven locks and uh, yeah, no real point to that. So you join us at the seventh lock and that's our putting point. People are waiting you see, so we kind of like just stuffed everything in. So we'll, we'll work around uh, things like that. And then we've got Gingers. And then we've got Richard and Simon. Ready. And we are off. What can I say? I cannot. I cannot tell you the the buzz that I felt as we were all uh, setting off in a big long line and uh, and just heading down the Caledonian Canal. All the months of preparation had come to this point, and yeah, it was just immense. And to do it with uh, my son Charlie. What a, what a great, great start. That's just here opposite this Letter Finlay Lodge. And it's just on this beach here. Yeah. And it's a, just a wide, good, good spot to camp. Thankfully, some of us actually had the brains to bring a map. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> The trouble with me is I, I tend to wing trips and uh, yeah, things like this I do not think of. But literally, thank you so much to uh, Simon for actually getting stuck in and buying some ordnance survey maps of the trip and uh, and the route. So yeah, that's off to you, mate. <laughs> Incredible cheese. And then Charlie, he is on. Ah, there's me nuts. <laughs> hey, there we go. Charlie is on. One thing I cannot stress is taking decent quality food with you. Don't make the mistake like me and Charlie did by taking dried pastas, um, tinned fish and also uh, packet mash. Don't do it because at the end of the day and the start of the day you are wanting something real good uh, inside your belly just to, to get you through it. And there's nothing more enjoyable than tucking into uh, something like eggs, bacon, sausage in the morning and then a decent meal at night. So yeah, highly recommended. Take some quality food and not dried. You, you, yeah, you, it's just on the. Uh, you're two here, you're three here, sorry. Yeah, cheers. Awesome. Ah, this was fantastic, guys. We had at least three or four people coming up to us throughout the trip. Uh, people like Mike. Uh, Mike had popped down and uh, brought us a selection of beers to have that evening, which was really kind of him. Uh, Mike, he actually got stopped. Our Mike, he got stopped on Loch Oik uh, with, a, with a couple who had come down wanting to meet him. Uh, it was just a real, real good vibe, and, and people were well behind us and backing us all the way. It was great. We're pretty hard graft. So, we've had lunch, and uh, ooh, I don't know what time it is to be honest with you. We're probably looking at around about two ish, something like that. Uh, but then that's good because it shaved off some time at the end because we'll, uh, we'll have made good progress, you know. But, um, all oh, right, no worries. All right. Okay. See you in a bit. Thanks for ringing. Bye. 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 Wow. She's got stood up for a bus. <laughs> this was so funny when I got back and I was telling her that I was recording this. My mum went absolutely mad. Not, not in a bad way. She just. She found it funny, she was telling everybody, me, me, uh, other family members and things like that, what I'd done. So yeah, yeah, it was a good one, that. I want to get to try and get the perfect shot without the oars. Good save! Well done, man. God! 
No. Woo! I must admit, when the rain started coming in and the fog or well, the mist, I really did think this is it. This is what it's going to be like for the full five days. But the weather gods, as I said, the weather gods were with us all the way through the trip. Apart from this section, it was absolutely glorious, warm. You couldn't beat it. Great weather. We could see for now after all. Do, do, do. I don't know the words. <laughs> that was about it. That. That's all you get in. Right, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, as you've just seen us cooking, we've on uh, we're on curried noodles tonight and pepperoni. <laughs> All the best food. The steak was yesterday. Oh. Yeah, and I'm Woo. Boy, that's hot. Still absolutely starving though, so it's um, it's going down really well. But you, Charlie, is it all right? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Actually, taste the forest. Mm. Really good. Right, get tucked in and we'll bring you back in a bit. So that's about halfway, and then that gives us two days then to do Loch Ness, which is 22 miles. So that's like yeah. about 11 miles a day. Yeah, yeah, like two days. And then how similar to today? It's like a full day, yeah. Yeah, full day, it'll be two full days. And how long is it to Inverness from the end of Loch Ness? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look, doesn't look like far on the map actually, but. Uh, uh,
that is the end of day one, officially day one, but in actual fact it's day two because we're on the campsite, weren't we? But day one paddle, 60 miles done. And uh, yeah, we, we have pretty much everything. Nice sunshine, warm, and it threw it down. And then the fog came in, and then the swell got up, and we even had a rainbow, a stunning, stunning rainbow. Um, the shot of my canoe of Ragnar with the uh, with the rainbow over the top of it, absolutely mint. So yeah, I'll put that picture up right now. Have a look at that. That is so cool. Well chuffed with that picture. Uh, probably the best photo I've ever took. But it's even photoshopped, isn't it? But no, it's real. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, day one paddle done. And we're halfway over Lot Locky. No rush at the end of the day. We have got this time in, in the bag now, just in case the weather turns. But uh, who knows what'll happen there. Eh? All right, see you in the morning. Take it easy, bye. You would be hard pushed to find any better camp cook than Matty. He's been cooking for us now on our trips uh, for quite some time now and I've yet to have a bad meal from him. He's unbelievable cook, he really is. And his knowledge of our great outdoors and wild edibles is second to none. Uh, here he's uh, actually picked some wild mushrooms from the back of where we were, uh, we were sleeping. And uh, yeah, he's he's doing some pancakes for himself. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever had anything cut by by Matty, and hopefully it won't be the last. Good morning, everyone. First proper night. Oh, another funny story here. So literally, I had got up and uh, wanted to go for the morning ablutions and uh, I went up into the woodland area at the back of the tents and the, the camp and dug a hole, uh, pulled my trolleys down, nice white backside and nice white legs and crouched down and I literally thought that we were actually in the wilderness and uh, oh no, about 25 yards away, probably less than that, a car drove past and it must have seen me white backside. <laughs> well, uh, I saw your mini for that. So yeah, so we're just doing that, just wait for, for Charlie to get uh, get ready and get the stuff sorted. We'll take the tent down, sleeping in the uh, French Army F2, which has been nice. Um, I do like this tent, it's really good. So uh, yeah, just gonna get some quick porridge and pack up and then be on our way for day two. If you are thinking about doing trips like this along big locks and, and lakes, I would definitely, definitely put a double bladed paddle in with your gear. This has got us out of some seriously tight situations where the weather can turn within 
five minutes, you know, you, you're on a, a nice calm lake or lock and then the next minute it's choppy as anything and the wind's up. But one of these really can get you out of a lot of uh, difficult situations. So I would highly recommend that uh, you put one of these in your pack and uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed. By an absolute country mile, this was my favourite part of the trip. Loch Oik is, without a shadow of a doubt in my eyes, the, the best place to visit. Um, I thought, to be honest with you, Loch Ness would be the one for me, but I really, I've got some fond memories of this loch and it was just absolute bliss to paddle so if you don't actually get to do the great glen canoe trail please go and visit loch Oy. you won't be disappointed you've got a castle on there you've also got a sunken ship oh, you can't beat it So we've got spam and noodles today, chicken noodles, and a whole load of spam because Shelly won't have it. Very appetising. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's really good. So good. <laughs> Ah, wicked this was probably my favorite evening uh the last last evening obviously is is a, a real good one but this one was just absolutely ace we decided to get the catapult out and have a bit of a catty competition and um the winner would receive um a beer handed out by head judge charlie and uh, yeah it was just fantastic i think everybody thought that they were going to win it and they were the best catapultists of all time but uh, unfortunately we couldn't hit a um a badge pole <laughs> Or a band door. That's it, isn't it? It's a band door. Uh, the winner was Simon, a bloke in the woods, who got an absolutely classic chocolate craft ale. I'm very jealous. Right, so that was camp set up for uh, night number two. I'll just take you out onto the lock. So this is Lock Oik. There we go. Look at that. It's the shortest of the three locks that we're doing. I've come from that end, and we're heading all the way down there. Not much of a view, it kind of goes round as an island just over there. Uh, yeah. And then a, a shipwreck. Just the uh, mate is that I'm gonna send a drone over if it's uh this wind dies down for a minute. We're we'll gonna have a look at that. Right, let's get some breakfast on. And uh we'll see you shortly, see if we can get Charlie out of his uh, pit. <laughs> This was River Ike, one of my favourite paddles of all time. Love this river. So much action and fun. It was just perfect. Uh, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Ginger here. He carried on down uh, Loch Oik and would eventually meet back up with us at Fort Augustus. 
The reason being is that Iskanu sat quite low to the water and obviously he's got these two dogs as well so he was a little bit concerned if he took on too much water that would be game over for him. So he decided, and rightly so, to, uh, to head down and carry on going down the lock. Lean, lean, lean. That's it. Paddle. Paddle. Oh, this is great. You can tell with Simon's face that he's absolutely loving it. It's um, it's his first actual white water rapid run. He has got rivers where he comes from, obviously, but he's not experienced anything as aggressive as this. This is a beast and a half. This river it is real good fun. There's some absolutely amazing white water runs just down uh, the way here yeah you could tell in his face he was chuffed to bits even though he did damage the beast power power yeah Like that, eh? Adventures like this brings out the best of us and it just goes to prove it here in this scene where Charlie is confident enough to stand up in the canoe and uh, and just face some fears that are absolutely so proud of him. He saw a, he saw a hazard and now we're going round it. Oh, rapid, <laughs> rapid, rapid. Yeah. That's it, power through. Hold up. Away from that, see? Yeah, well done. Right, round now. Before the start of any trip, you really want to do your research, and I looked high and low for any type of videos and things like that to do with the Great Glen Canoe Trail. There was a family who did this river run, uh, two girls and uh, husband and wife team, and it looked quite easy. It was it, it looks like a, a quite an easy, pleasant river, but there are some serious rapids here where you've got to be pretty pretty on the ball um, I wouldn't like to attempt it with just me and Charlie on our own as uh, you'll see just round this corner here to the to the right as we come we, we face the biggest rapid of them all and it was great fun but you've got to be worried it is uh, some serious white water here yeah that right, power 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 away from that rock. That's it. That's it. Power, power, power. Do you like that, pal? Might need to <laughs> I think so. So that was a grade two rapid. How good did Charlie do on that? If it ain't, brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Going down there is not easy, not easy at all. So yeah. All the training from Rick and this young man, unbelievable. What a guy. So, we've just stopped off, just literally after that, and we're in this beautiful, beautiful woodland. Now this little woodland is the reason why us wild campers want to head north and into Scotland. As long as you live by the ethos of leave no trace, there are areas in Scotland where wild camping is totally accepted. With fire pits at a minimum and no rubbish in sight, this will definitely be an area we return to when we do the Great Glen Canoe Trail once again. Like some sort of um, walk, because there is a path that leads all the way through there. But then you've got this opening out into fantastic 
River Oik. This is the reason right here why we should be taking our children out at an early age to enjoy and experience the great outdoors. Just look at the way Rick and Jack here are just gelling together. Rick has taken his children out from an early age and it just goes to show it's instilled in them now. <laughs> Get ready. Simon knows only too well this section of the River Oik. This ledge coming up now is where his boat, his gorgeous wooden boat, received its cracked hull. All right. Okay, that's it. Careful, rocks, rocks, rocks. Over. That's it. Again, to the left, to the right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, power, power. Well done. That's it. That's where we're heading. Yeah. Amazing structures. Hi, we're collecting for Alzheimer's. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be, but I was pretty embarrassed doing this. I really were. We did actually ask for these catch boxes, but um, I knew I had to do it. But it, it, it doesn't half feel as though you'd be really cheeky. It shouldn't do because you're doing it for charity. But you would really do get some real strange looks. And I'm sure the other lads felt exactly the same way. <laughs> keep on that line that's it I didn't have much footage of us crossing over Loch Ness but I just wanted to point out how nerve wracking this point was you're crossing over the width of Loch Ness at 700 feet deep and you're just in a little canoe with these massive ferries coming towards you it is a little bit nerve wracking beautiful beautiful waterfall Fantastic. So this is the point where we had a bit of a group meeting here. It was getting a little bit choppy and uh, we needed to make a decision whether we needed to push forward and get some miles under our belt or actually camp at this spot where this waterfall was. It wasn't going anywhere so Rick jumped in his boat and just pushed on which i feel was the right choice it got us moving and it saved us a heck of a lot of time the following two days So when you actually get onto Loch Ness, the Coast Guard recommends that you pick a side and you stick to it. We chose to cross Loch Ness and stay on the right hand side, simply because you get more of a wild experience, it's a lot more wildernessy on that side we felt. There's no roads, 
the uh, the downside is that if you do capsize, there is sheer cliff faces all along uh, the side there, so you would struggle. If you are thinking about tattling the Great Glen Canoe Trail, I would highly recommend that you stay to the right hand side. That way, you've got the road there. You've also got Shinle beaches to uh, to get onto if you do capsize. It's a lot more safe for that side. We did a bit of um, money money raising. You know, trying to get some donations coming in with the pots. Gave out a few badges and bracelets. And now we're here. So, this is the camp for tonight. We're both choosing the hammock systems. And we've got two 3x3 DD tarps up. If you look at it from the side, it is huge. So we've got Charlie at the back there. He's chose for the low down and uh, bumpy hammock. And I've gone for the higher one. And then it's tied off both sides with the paddles onto rocks. And then that's our little uh, washing line. It's like a bit of a shanty town, as Rick said. <laughs> so yeah. Looking all right. Yeah. So we had a bit of a bit of a problem today on the rapids. The last run was a a real real um, heart raiser, and you kind of dropped off a ledge. And as you can see in front of us, there we've got um, Simon's boat, which he hit a real massive boulder, and it's uh, it's cracked it. So he's just doing a, a bit of a running repair on it. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be fine with it. So tomorrow, we're gonna do a real good push down Loch Ness and we're gonna get the sails out tomorrow, get the Alzheimer's sails up. We're gonna blast down there, all the way down there. So yeah, should be good fun. Pretty funny story, actually. Way back when we entered Loch Oik, there was um, a nice little shop that did some beautiful breakfast balms and muffins and things like that. So we stopped. As you know, that me and Charlie didn't take much food with us, or decent food. So we, uh, we stopped off and had a, a sausage and egg balm. And just as we'd finished, we saw this other team which had been kind of uh, following us the whole trip. And they actually overtook us, and we thought, "Oh man, they're going to be uh, they're going to be heading down Loch Oik and getting our spot." Lucky for us, they weren't actually wanting to stop there anyway, <laughs> because we all dived in our boats and like kind of chased after them. I remember Matty going all for leather to try and beat them, and he did. So uh, just as they'd come past us, they was fine. They weren't even stopping there anyway. And they said that they were pushing on further down. So our panic was when we got to Loch Ness, we, whether they would be on the uh, the same side as us because you are limited there as to where you can pitch up for the night. So uh, yeah, we were panicking a little bit, but when we found this spot, we knew that was our place for the evening. Morning, day four. It's about half six now. People are still asleep. So I'm going to keep quiet. So yeah, another beautiful day. The weather looks to be okay. Not too choppy. I think I'm going to get some breakfast on, I reckon. And then uh, start tidying up camp. Try and get uh, try and get away for around about nine half nine today. If we can get the sails up and power down there and see how far we can get.
This was the calm before the storm. It is really surprising how fast the weather can change on Loch Ness. It's open water. It is classed as being at sea. And it's got its own coast guard. That's how bad it is and can get. You can get waves up to six and a half feet. And uh, I'm not joking you. Some of these waves that hit us in this morning's uh, paddle was literally around about that i would say um there was some quite hurry moments not for us we was actually with sale and we were with rick and jack but uh the guys who set off before us which were matt uh, ginger and also mike i tell you what it looked absolutely deadly So once again, thank you so much to Rick and his son Jack for creating what is going to be the most awesome day yet. You thought the river run was good yesterday, well this is going to be absolutely epic. Look at that. So we're having sails today and we're going to blast down Loch Ness at around about 250 mile an hour. Oh ho! Yeah! <laughs> can actually see on this scene how close the waves came to the uh, the top of the boat. Uh, there was a couple of her raising moments where we had to bail the canoes out and uh, and just get them free of water before they sunk. <laughs> so I don't know what the other guys were like, but yeah, it was immense fun and such a great morning to experience this. The camera, but there is the end of Loch Ness. So we've only been going five minutes from camp. I mean, with that, we're going that fast, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, what have we been on, lads? What do you reckon? Well, what, been, been moved out and we've been moving yeah. for probably about 35 minutes now. Something, something like, like that. that. So, yeah, and we've probably gone, you know, a good, what do you reckon, a good three or four miles? Yeah, easy, there. easy. So with this well that we're, we're taking on, it's, uh, and the wind, it's just brilliant. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. fantastic. So, uh, we, we think we're just catching up with the uh, the guys who chose to paddle. Yeah, we're just down there. Trail, um, we've just passed uh, Simon, Richard, and Matty. They're uh, they're not doing too bad at all with that little sail. So yeah. Okay, I admit it, I am a complete idiot. This next scene where you see the drone flying over the top of us is uh, one heck of a mistake that I will never ever make again. <laughs> or, or would I? <laughs> I make a few mistakes with this drone. The plan was to have it lift off and do what it's doing now and, and film us perfectly. 
Um, it didn't go to plan when we, we actually set the drone off. I held the drone and was ready to shove the joysticks forward so that it would take off as fast as anything and hopefully gain enough altitude before it hit the water. I didn't take into account the ropes at the back of the, the canoes and uh, we literally skimmed them and that would have been it, a 400 knob pound drone in the drink of Loch Ness, never to be seen again. Not 100% sure about this, but I think the Coast Guard was sent out to check on us and make sure that we were actually all right. We did actually see it as a dot, basically coming across from the right hand side over to the left and then down Loch Ness. And then as it reached us, it literally turned back over towards us and, and as you saw, it came over our heads. Now we were registered on the trip. They knew full well that we were coming but I don't know whether it actually registers you as you get onto Loch Ness or not. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking it quite possibly was for us, just checking, making sure we were okay. Look at that! Look how close we are! Now, we've just been hit by a bit of a wave, uh, just after taking a bit of a break. I think it was the, uh, the wake from Nessie. Is that what it was? Yeah, I saw it swim fast. <laughs> Like a See here we go. Nessie does exist. Yeah, we're just bailing out a bit of this water that's uh, that's uh, hit us. And yeah, we're we're really close now. There's Simon there in his um, in the white sails. So the lads who are paddling have done absolutely fantastic today. They really have. They've near enough. Do well, they've probably done more than half a Loch Ness paddling today. So that's some feet. So hats off to them and uh, you know, if that doesn't deserve a donation to the Just Giving page, for them guys to, to have paddled that distance then, wow. So the guys who have actually paddled, uh, Ginger, Ginger underscore Scar on Instagram. And we've got Mike, TA Outdoors on YouTube. And we've got uh, Matt from Adventure Is Made on YouTube as well. They truly deserve your donations here, guys, for the uh, the Alzheimer's Society. So if you could do that, just head over to the Just Giving page and see what you can do. See if you can uh, boost them around and put that message in there as well that they've done absolutely fantastic in paddling this distance in one day. So yeah, brilliant. As the afternoon turned into the evening, we finally set eyes on where we were going to pitch up for the night. We couldn't wait, we were exhausted, and more so the guys who paddled it. We are now in touching distance. That's the end of the lock. One more night to catch Nessie. Is it smoked? What is it? Smoked cheese and pancetta and tuna fish. <laughs> Charlie's opted to go for uh, chicken noodles for a change, so he's going to do that. He's not hungry yet, so I'll cook that for him after. I was gutted that we couldn't use the Alzheimer's Society sail to come down Loch Ness, but it was just too small. If it was just me and Charlie and we was in our own canoe, then yeah, it would have done the job, but to pull two canoes down, there was no chance. We needed a bigger sail. I'm 
Yeah. Oh. Right, so can you get to behind uh, Matty there? Yeah, you all right there? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Right. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah, double check. Yeah, double check. Yeah. Then you get a close line. Yeah, it's a cracker, that lad. Yeah, it's a cracker. And then on to another one of my favourite parts of the trip was interviewing the lads and saying thank you so much for joining me and Charlie on this one. Right, everybody, I'm going round to each and every one uh, who's done the trip and just to say thank you so much. Um, for taking the time and effort and the first one is Matt adventure is made cheers man no absolutely oh, yes. it's my pleasure mate it's been an absolute epic trip so far yeah. and I really appreciate you asking me to come oh. here so honestly one of the first one of the first we've yeah. been doing trips since um, November last year isn't yeah, it over, over first here, one yeah. um, third year so um, it kind of kind of went about around about that time uh, where we thought about doing something for, for, uh, for charity so uh, yeah and uh, as you guys have probably seen on, on Instagram, Matt is actually going through exactly the same as what my family is with, with his, his dad. Um, so, you know, everybody wish him all the best and, and please donate. This is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a massive thing. There's, there's going to be more and more people um, diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's uh, every year. It's going to go through the roof if we don't do something, raise some cash and hopefully stop this horrid disease. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think people realise how, how widespread it is, so yeah. No, yeah, this is it, More innit? People know about the better, so yeah. Yeah, 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 please, anybody you speak to, just raise awareness about it, you know. But thank you, Matt, yeah, once again, mate. Yeah, my pleasure again, mate. Excellent. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Man. Right, everybody, second person here, and it's Simon, a bloke in the woods, you all know him. And uh, yeah, I just want to say, Simon, I'm going around to each and every one of you and say thank you so much for this. It's been awesome. My pleasure. Epic, epic trip with an epic person. Oh, so right, thank been, you, mate. It's been an honour to be part of it and brilliant to meet you. Oh, cheers, man. And all of you. Yeah. Sorry about the wet hands. I've just hey, been watching that. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but take, to take the time out, you know, busy schedules and all that, it's fantastic. So oh, thank you so a, much. It's been a mate. fantastic trip. It's been yeah. awesome. You've enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah. We've, we've had pretty much everything. Mm. You know, rainbows, rain, uh, white rivers, water. white water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, accidents, well, canoes, damaged canoes, which, oh, yeah, I know, he'll sort it. <laughs> he'll sort it. Right person. Yeah. But thank you so much, mate. Uh, pleasure, all mate. Right. Pleasure. So how awesome is it we've got to 10K as well? I know, yeah. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic. So yeah. thank you so much, everybody who's donated as well. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks, man. Nice one. <laughs> right, so I'm here with Matty, and I just want to say thank you, Matty, for coming on the trip with us. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. It's the first time Thanks I've met you. Matty, and uh, yeah, what a guy. Thanks for excellent. having me along. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Excellent fisherman, you know. He needs a YouTube channel for fishing. That's what he needs. <laughs> but an excellent canoeist as well. So thank you so much for coming. No worries. And this is uh, this is Laika. You'll have seen her in uh, in the videos. She is such an awesome, obedient dog. She is fantastic. Yeah. And yeah, hey, you really are. Just any command he gives her, and she's straight there. You know, brilliant. But once again, mate, thank you so much. Thank and you, hopefully mate. Hopefully, we're going to have a lot of uh, adventures without a doubt. Yeah, look awesome. forward to it. Brilliant. Thank nice you, fun. mate. Thanks. Cheers, buddy. No, another person taller than I me. <laughs> 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 we'll go this time. We'll do that. We'll do that. So I'm here with Richard, Richard Outdoors. And I just want to say, Richard, thank you so much, mate, for coming on the yeah, trip. It's been pleasure, awesome. Pleasure. We've and, missed it. And thank you so much for the amount that he has raised alone, you know, for everything that he's done. You know, all the um, the uh, raffles and things like that, all the, the equipment that he's given away. And thanks to you guys for, for sending in those donations and having a chance to win an uh, awesome kit. And thank you so much again for that knife. Awesome, <laughs> awesome knife. It's nice to see it being yeah. used. Oh, yeah, well, it's not on me hip today, yeah, but it has been. been. We have been using more, it. Yeah. But um, a bit better. he's a, a new, new to canoes as well. And uh, he's been with Simon on this trip. You'll have seen him in the videos and things like that. But uh, yeah, he has done cracking. Did his first white water yesterday under the instruction of Rick. 
and Jack. So yeah, he's done fantastic. Nobody tipped up, everybody's okay. So yeah, thanks again, pal, yeah, for coming. Pleasure. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Right, I am here with Simon Earthley and go check out each and every one of these YouTube channels by the way giving the names uh, as we go so thank you so much Simon for uh, for coming on this You're trip welcome I've had a blast yeah a right good day wouldn't be the same without him we did uh, catch and cook two day event last year go and check uh, the YouTube uh, videos out the midges are going crazy so sorry about this we are in Scotland but yeah absolutely fantastic bloke he's helped Richard out so much I'd, Richard would have struggled if it weren't for uh, for Simon being there. Do you, do you reckon? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do. you know what I mean. It, it, it's been tough, especially today. <clears throat> I'm swallowing them now. Oh my god! I'm leaving that Man in. Down. Hang on. Man down. <laughs> Medic. That were a midge. I've just ate it. Protein. More protein. So yeah. So thank you so much for coming yeah, in, for stepping up and, and helping. Not a problem. It's been awesome. Again. Cheers, buddy. Enjoyed it. Right. We have got the master's son here. <laughs> he's he's like the Padawan to the master. He's just over there. The, the dark Jedi. Look at him. He's over there. So we'll go and see Rick after. But this is Jack, Rick's son. No, Dave. And uh, he stepped up to the mark. Short notice and decided uh, he'd come and give us a lift. Oh, and, no, it'd, and be, it'd be rude to miss it. It's, you know, yeah, it's brilliant. It, yeah. I had to battle to get the time off work, but I'm bloody glad I did. Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Honestly, nice one, yeah, man. No, honestly, it was... Uh, I wouldn't have missed it for out. It was a, yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been a cracking trip, and well, we've, we've had a bit of everything, haven't we? Yeah, we? yeah, we, we we really have. But yesterday, you know, Jack came into his own. He teaches teaches young children <laughs> uh, outdoor activities. Um, crazy crazy stunts not he doesn't teach them stunts <laughs> he does crazy stuff on mountain bikes and uh rock climbing everything you name any outdoor activity and he does it and he does it really well so go <laughs> check him out on instagram what's your instagram pal uh jack 95 turner it is yeah go and uh, check go and check some of his videos out awesome <laughs> awesome but thank you so much no mate. it's been ace awesome. honestly it's been Brilliant. a pleasure cheers man right i am with uh, Mike from TA Outdoors, you know what I mean. This guy, what can I say, he stepped up to the mark. He is such a busy guy, you know, he does this full time. Um, he's got lots and lots of shows throughout the year, but he still made the time to come and do a five day trip with people. He only knew Matt, Matt so you know, he came in and, and wow, we just smashed it. And what a top guy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks mate. so much. It's been a great trip. Oh, it's absolutely been awesome, loved it. Man, it. The, yeah. the, the weather god's been on our side. Yeah. But at the same time, that was some tough paddling today. Well, this is and what I mean. Was... I've, I've asked in the video, actually, for you three, if, if people could donate some more. Because when you yeah. see the epic footage, what they, they've gone through paddling today, it's been easier for us because we've been sailing. But these guys have paddled at least 17 miles. 17, we reckon. Yeah, easy, about 17 easy. miles. You know, in, in swell like this up here you know Matt was saying he could see uh, Mike's boat going down like that and then all of a sudden back up he <laughs> disappear yeah. so it was really that bad so thank you so Cheers. much for, no. for, for everything what a trip for us, I'll mate. always remember this trip Go on. Awesome. brilliant brilliant so anybody um, who wants to go and see and visit Mike go down to the bushcraft show this coming bank holiday uh, the end of August Go over to his stall. He's got a range of gear that you can go and uh, you can go and have a look at your heart's content. You can purchase it and you can meet him in, uh, himself there as well. Get badges, things like that. Awesome, brilliant. Cheers. Thanks, Thank mate. You. Thanks Cheers. Right, mate. Are, we, are we are we live? We're live, Ginger. We're live. Do you, you know this guy? Live. Of we're, we're we're actually well, we're not live. live oh right, but I think we will be live. <laughs> Fuck Everybody you. knows this guy, Ginger Scarf, <laughs> Ginger underscore Scarf. If you have a look on Instagram, you'll see him there. And he makes a range of hammock wear, um, sleep systems, anything that you want. Go and have a have a word with him and he can sort you out this coming winter. He's awesome. He sorted me and Charlie out this trip as well. So, yeah, go and have a word with him. But thank you so much, mate, for coming. Oh, it's been and a Donny look, Donny look ace. Eh? It's been an absolute pleasure, dude. He, he, has, he has wore this helmet throughout the whole trip. So yeah, hats off, hats off to him. <laughs> like that, that oh you, wow. <laughs> you needed it there a minute ago. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I've just cracked my head open. So yeah, I could have done with that helmet. But thank you so much no for worries, coming No worries, dude. It's, it's been, been a, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, oh, brilliant. And um, 
next year, whatever, I'm in. Yeah, we're, so, we're going to try and do something each year for, for a different charity, if possible, if everybody can make the time and, and, uh, and, and do that. But this trip is very special to Ginger because um, it's took him three attempts. This would be his fourth, yeah. all right? Yeah. yeah, fourth attempt to complete this trip. And it looks like it's on the cars now. We've got, well, I would say, around about, what, six mile left, something yeah. like that. So, if I have to, if I have to swim, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, it means means a lot to him to to get it completed. So, and of course, the yeah. other reason, dude, exactly. Well, eh? Yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's going to be a double whammy, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a um, a happy. It happy will be, and yeah, tough one yeah. As well, and I'm looking forward to the pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're planning a pint and uh, a, a cheers and and a, a bit of a, possibly a meal when we get to the I finish line. I think after today, we we've really earned it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I've got the. Uh, I've got the emotion going on still from the waves on the lock. He's not drunk. Not, not yet. <laughs> but it could happen very soon. Yeah. And thanks, very quickly. Thanks again, man. Awesome. No worries. Guy. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you, mate. Good one, dude. Yeah, take care. It's been grand. <laughs> oh, we have done them all in one take, so let's see if we can get this one. The no master. Chance. The master. No chance. <laughs> Don't do that. I've got a really sore head. Oh, shit. <laughs> This guy flipping out. What can I say? Again, he is. Oh, he is hey, he's awesome. Been brilliant. You know, it's been great. Yeah. What a top bunch of lads. Top you, bunch of lads. You, you've seen it through, um, right through to the end. Perfect instruction from him and Jack. We don't like I say. We've been on the rivers, and, and he's helped every single one of us to get through it. None of us tipped up or anything like that. Yeah. Same again with the swells today. We we rafted up. Him and Jack built this Good fantastic, fun, fantastic oh, raft. It was brilliant. So yeah, we're going for hey, it. It's been a but pleasure. Total, total best mate, this guy. Yeah, it's he been really an absolute is. pleasure. Awesome. It's been a so pleasure. thank you, Rick. As, hey. as, you know, what the Mystic Fit World. You know, we start, great. we started it off, did we? We, we, we what's it called? It. Um, oh, I mean, heck, last we, October. Yeah, we had a lot of talks. We had a lot of discussions about yeah, yeah. Um, what we wanted to do and yeah. who we wanted to come on the trip with us and things yeah, like yeah. that. And then you guys saw us yeah. do the um, uh, the River Loon experience. Yeah where it was my first time getting dunked in the rapids. No looking back uh, now. Well, no yeah, looking no, back that's now. It, that's it. But yeah, with expert supervision, we got through it. So thank you, man. Hey, brilliant. Awesome, mate. Brilliant, fantastic. Good stuff, mate. Great to have Charlie along oh, with yeah. us, weren't it? We're going to do Absolutely an interview with him. It. Brilliant, weren't it? Good man. <laughs> so on to our last person to interview. This person, um, out of everybody here, this is the person I want it with me, no matter what, on this trip. And this is Charlie. Good old Charlie boy has completed, it's gonna be day five tomorrow, he's completed 62 and odd mile in a canoe, you know, at 13 years old. Um, going through whitewater rapids, we've been through massive, massive swells today, uh, rain, uh, everything, you know, mid attack. But he has, he has been absolutely awesome throughout it. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you, pal, so much for coming along with me. And hopefully we'll have uh, many more adventures like this. What do you reckon? Mm -hmm. eh? Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. Maybe. 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 I'll well, he do the river. So he likes his uh, little bit of an adrenaline rush. So hopefully um, we could get Jake on one of these what do you reckon do you think he'd come on something like this no. well jake it's a test out there for you now if you uh if you want to do at least a two day or what do you think pal but thank you so much love your lords pal love your lords awesome yeah, I just wanted that nice, you know, cinematic. I know, know yeah, you, I know what you mean. You know, get that blurred out background. It just the the, the L series of lenses are really good. From that beautiful sight to this one. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Last day, day five. And uh, yeah, it's about half six now, something like that. The minches are out in force. Well, you can see them buzzing around my head. So, just on the waterfront, gonna make a coffee. 
and just wait till Charlie comes round and then we'll, uh, we'll start packing the gear up and then after breakfast we'll, uh, we'll head out that way just around that bend and then cross back over the lock and head out towards uh, our meeting point or pick up point for the trip back down to the, the campsite Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you, Matt. Matt. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Matt's. Uh, Matt's. I take it you've come down to see us I've all. Come down have to you? See you, oh, yeah. I've been following you on, on obviously uh, YouTube and everything. Right. And uh, I follow Simon and obviously a bit of everybody else. Yeah. And yeah, just wanted to make a donation. Really. Oh wow. How good's that? For the charity. So yeah. So thank, there you go. Thank you so thank much you for much. that. Brilliant. No Brilliant. I take it you work for the, is it the ambulance fire service? Fire or service. Fire service, fire service yeah. Yeah. Yes, at the airport. All so, oh, right. So, which is good, which yeah. is good. As has the trip been? Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, not easy going in yeah. places like yesterday. It was pretty hard work. Aye. Doing right. the, uh, the swell and all that, but. Yeah, the wind was uh, kind of turned around a couple of times. And yeah, I know we had to bring the sails down because we had uh, we had two, our two. Yes. Which yeah. are over there and, and, and one round there. Aye. That was rigged up with a massive sail on it. Yeah. So as we come down the, the wind chains and you're off paddling then. <laughs> so it took us it took us a good all day basically oh, yeah. to get here. Oh, I caught you up know. with Simon yesterday and had the sail out. It was just north of him, Farragut. Ah, um, was that yourself yeah, who, who his... came down to talk to That's him? Right, yeah. Ah, right, yeah. we saw you as we were coming in. Ah, right. We saw right. Simon pulling, yeah. chatting to somebody. Yeah. So, yeah, right, that was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was myself. Like oh, that, good so. stuff, yeah. yeah. That's really good. I'm glad you've uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been so, Superb. It's been brilliant. So you've, had, you've been lucky with weather as well. Oh, uh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ginger, who's just, just some, over through some... those trees down uh, there, yeah. he's, um, this will be his fourth time. Wow. To, to have actually, well, he's only just completed it. This is first time. Oh right, oh, well, that's, that's good though. So yeah, it's been a bit of a bit of a journey for him as well. So yeah, 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 no, good stuff, mate. Oh, thank you, mate. Right. For coming nice to down. meet you again. You too. You too. This is it. This is the end of Loch Ness, right in front of you there where that white house is. Changes back to the Caledonian Canal, is that right? Yeah. yeah. So back onto the Caledonian Canal for us now. And then down to the uh, first portage. Wow, what a great feeling to uh, have actually finished this. Thank you so, so very much for everybody who has donated, who has messaged, private messaged me, um, text me, um, all the help from work. And, uh, you know, we raised 230 quid at work for it. Uh, gosh, Bolton Evening News, uh, the Anderson Centre for letting me train on the everything. My, especially my family, my wife Leslie, my son Jake, the main man Charlie in front, who has really, really pushed the boat out, the canoe out, and, uh, and a real special thanks to my mum and dad. man wow how good is that Woo! good stuff well done cheers mate Thanks. 
disaster trip. <laughs> and rest. That sounds good, Simon. Oh, well done. Oh, man. Fantastic. We're all here, all safe. At the sea. Ginger, here he is. Four time lucky pal. Excellent. Nice one, Charlie. <laughs> Good. Good. Hey, yeah. thanks for coming down, pal. Yeah. On all day, not planned drive ever, and then I saw a couple of posts over the last few days, and then it just timed. And literally, we're in the end of yesterday. I said to my missus, I'm just having a walk up and see if they're about. We just had dinner about one o'clock. I thought, oh, I missed you. So I missed you, Simon. Said, Hope you do well. I don't know if you come or gone or whatever. We'll just walk down a little bit further down and come back. There you are, coming oh, through. Brilliant. Oh, 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 brilliant. O
only ever needing to tell your story once. <laughs>